Hi folks. Um, I kind of feel like giving out a whooping sound, um, but I would have to admit it would have to be somewhat subdued. It seems like I've been working on this painting forever. Uh, not consistently, of course, but it's gone on for months. It's been in my studio for months and I work on it a while, put it aside a while, work on it a little more, put it aside, not sure where to go next. And, you know, as I said in the beginning of this series of videos, I think this is the fifth one. This will be the final one. I feel like the painting is done. I'm, uh, signed my name to it and, um, but my feelings are still a little reserved and I think that's probably because it's been in my studio for so long you start to I start to question myself whether you know this is as good as it can be is it really done but uh, at this point I'm calling it done and this will be my final video for that uh, for this painting uh, if you follow the series, you'll see how this painting developed from the very beginning, the block in, all the way through to this stage. So you might find that interesting. You might want to go back and, and trace that history uh, of how this painting has progressed. If you remember, uh, I started with a, a scene. I think I showed it in the first one what the scene was. It was this scene. I've recomposed it a little bit. But basically this scene, I made some changes to this house over here. Um, you can see I added the Amish horse and buggy there. Uh, but the main, the dramatic change that I made is I totally changed the mood of the painting from what my initial um, photographic reference was. And also, if you remember, I used a very limited palette, which is pretty typical the way I work. Um, this is a palette of just three primary colors plus white. So my primaries used in, throughout this painting were ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, and cadmium yellow pale. Um, but I mixed all the uh, complements and the tertiary colors from those three, from those three primaries. But this is basically a three color palette. And it leaves, you know, there's a lot of opportunity working with three color palette. Oftentimes artists will have a, a lot more colors than that on their palette. I know when I started uh, first um, in the fine arts, I had 15 painting, uh, 15 colors on my palette at the time. And gradually over time, I kept limiting, limiting. And what I found uh, by doing that is that um, I ended up with a much more harmonious painting because with fewer colors you had to intermix. One has to intermix all that, all those colors together to get the, the other uh, colors and values that we need. So it, because we're using every color on the palette, um, you end up with, with harmony. And I think that's what, uh, one of the things that really improved my work when I started limiting my palette. Not every artist would agree, but I've been using a limited palette for years and years and years, and it works for me, and uh, I will continue doing that. Every now and then I'll I stick in, I'll add another color or two or change uh, the particular primary. Uh, you know, I could call, for instance, a, um, a burnt sienna, call it a red. I mean, there's, there's all kinds of options. Uh, streamline, uh, publishing is going to be doing some videos of my work and one of the videos is going to be uh, a, a pretty extensive lesson on color and I will explain all this, all my color theories and show lots and lots of samples of what I've done with a three color palette in that video. But um, anyway, I'm hoping that you enjoyed this series. Uh, showing the progress from start to finish of this painting. I feel good about it right now, and I'm pleased that you followed it to this point, and I, uh, I hope that uh, you found the series worthwhile and that you enjoy this painting. I'm gonna kind of pull out of the picture now. Thank you for uh, uh, following this work. Uh, following my work, being a fan of my work, I, I sincerely appreciate that. You know, if you want to see more of my work, I say this every time, but you can always go to my website, which is patochnik.com. And uh, I, I have, you know, a lot of 
examples of my work there and they're all for sale. I also write a weekly blog and you'll find that educational, inspirational, and informative. Um, I think that's all for right now. I will, I will uh, step out of the way and zoom in and kind of s rotate the camera a little bit through this painting so you can see some of it. But thank you. Hope you have enjoyed the series and maybe we'll be in touch again. Thank you.